The jet engine is a crucial part of the millions of aircraft we see in our skies today. It provides the thrust to propel aircraft up into the air, as well as the power to keep the numerous other systems running. But like all pieces of engineering, this now commonplace technology progressed over many years to result in the efficient, powerful engines we see today. In order to work, a jet engine needs a compressor, somewhere to burn the fuel, and a turbine to get the energy out. Designs have varied throughout the years, with the first jet engine designed by Frank Whittle, which was developed into the Rolls-Royce RB23 Welland engine, which powered the first British jet aircraft during World War II. This Welland engine was much fatter than modern designs, as it compressed air using a centrifugal compressor, to spin air and allow centrifugal forces to compress it, ready to burn. Air enters the compressor from the side. As the compressor is spinning, this makes the air spin as well. Centrifugal force then pushes this air out of the side, which is then burnt in the combustor. The burnt air then exits through a turbine, which powers the compressor. However, the power of these engines was limited due to the air having to go around corners. The Rolls-Royce Avon engine overcame this by use of an axial compressor, a series of turbines which push air into the engine like propellers. This allows the air to move in a straighter path, so a smaller engine can handle more air, allowing the engine to also be narrower and therefore more aerodynamic. But this design remained limiting for two reasons. Firstly, the separate combustors increase air resistance inside the jet engine, and secondly, the design throws a small amount of air out of the engine very fast. This uses a large amount of energy, making the engine inefficient. A modern jet engine consists of a core similar to the Avon engine, but rather than separate combustors, they have one ring-shaped combustor allowing a smoother flow of air. But the big difference is due to the addition of a large fan, which pulls a huge amount of air through the engine at relatively low speed, increasing efficiency. Even high-speed fighter aircraft use these turbofans, but these designs have a much lower proportion of air going through the fan, as the air needs to come out faster to make them fly faster. Modern jet engines have the incredible power they do today because they have the highest power-to-weight ratio of any engine to date. This is the reason for their use in virtually all aircraft across the world. <laughs>